I swear, the last three days, the 2K16 servers have been shitting the bed. Not that I need them, but still, your next game isn't even out yet. Don't abandon your online service here. Fix that shit, 2K. Come on. Anyhow, what's good, internet? My name is uh, TaxLug, and welcome back to my 2K16 My Career Let's Play. Ebenezer's Revenge. You're gonna have revenge on these goddamn 2K16 servers. Uh, here on the PS4 on a fine, relaxing Thursday. Gonna fight The Miz on SmackDown. Uh, don't really care about fighting The Miz on SmackDown. Is The Miz even on... Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's on the US title, uh, rankings here. I'm rank one. And all I wanna do is fight John Cena for that US title. That's all I wanna do. I am rank, I, I have a 94 overall, uh, and eventually I'm going to have enough points here to get to a 95, but uh, they just won't let me fight John Cena. He's just not appearing on these shows to attack, and when he does appear, he's either fighting me or tag teaming with me, which does me no good. And here we are, not even fighting The Miz, somebody else is going to interrupt here, whether it be Eric Rowan or Miz Dow or Stardust or who fucking cares because the only man I will feud with is the face who runs the place, John Cena. And as far as I know, the champion will never come and attack you, or at least that hasn't happened in the 200 plus episodes, 54 plus hours of this, my career, so what? Oh, it's Darren Young. Well, we are not going to make Darren great again, as much as I do appreciate Mr. Bob Backlund. Um, anytime you get the opportunity to work with Mr. Bob Backlund, you should definitely take it, because he is certainly uh, a legend in this business. Uh, but here we go with Darren Young, D.Y., uh, Mr. No Days Off. Much like me, Mr. No Days Off. Um, although, obviously, he's taking a bunch of days off here because he hasn't been on TV wrestling in forever. Um, at least, you know, not on any of the shows that I watch. Um, so, in any event, uh, this is just a waste of my time because there is no fucking way we're going to feud with Darren Young. Not even primetime players, Darren Young. It is just not happening. And, uh the outcome of this particular engagement does not actually matter. I will just continue to back body drop your ass and then I'll just spit in your face. How you like me now? Boom. Super kick. Super... What the fuck is that? What is happening? Where is this camera? That was unusual and I suppose we'll get a Renee Young interview following that as she asks me about Darren Young. And I really don't care. I'm tired of these interviews. How do I feel about him? I'm, I'm, I'm mad about it. Because he's wasting my time. I'm here to, to talk about wrestling. Nothing new here. Nothing new here. This isn't the first time I've been through this. This ain't nothing new to me. Alright. A lot of tension. That one interaction. A lot of tension. He's not worth my time. There's only one man who is worth my time, and we all know who that one man is. I don't gotta say it again. I don't gotta say it again. Thanks for the time. Back to you. Thanks for the time. Back to you. Alright, let's head on to Superstars and see if John Cena is going to grace Superstars with his presence as I'm gonna fight Mark Henry. Apparently, my authority goal is to do three running moves, and my authority stuff is way in the red, and I don't care. Because I am ranked number one uh, here. Uh, Bo Dallas, Dean Ambrose. Tag match. That's got to be Kane. Oh, look. There's no John Cena. Why would you do that to me? Why would... It feels like my only chance now to get a hold of John Cena is at the goddamn pay-per-views. But obviously the last one, I had to fight him. So that does me no good. So I guess we're going to fight sexual chocolate Mark Henry here. That's what he does. And uh, get on with it. Anyhow, welcome to Thursday, fighting Mark Henry on Superstars and talking about wrestling. That's what we do here, each and every day, because this My Career Mode just won't end. Woo! Um, so, there was a rumored list of upcoming pay-per-views yesterday, uh, and that list was interesting because it featured pay-per-views 
that were going to be after the brand split when they are supposedly going to have two of those per month, which is way too fucking many. I'm sorry. It's way, way too many. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's one thing to like, okay, well, now I got to watch SmackDown Live, right? That's, that's, that, that's one thing. If they're actually going to have things happen on SmackDown, they're going to have two distinct rosters. Like, I can almost guarantee you there are going to be guys that I like that aren't going to be on Raw, and the only way to, to watch them in, in their matches is going to be either on SmackDown Live or on one of the SmackDown-branded pay-per-views. Uh, but the two things that stood out here were No Mercy and Backlash. So perhaps they are bringing back No Mercy and Backlash. This is not a confirmed thing. This is a rumor. There was a sheet. Anybody could Photoshop that sheet, but... Uh, and they have not confirmed their schedule, like, I guess they asked WWE for comment, and they were like, no comment, we don't confirm our schedule yet, etc., etc., um, so that was interesting. Uh, also on there was Clash of the Champions, which was the name of an old WCW pay-per-view, and we know that they did trademark Clash of the Champions recently, or they re-trademarked it, uh, so that kind of, I guess, lends more credence to that, I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do moving forward. Uh, that, that's not going to be happening until after SummerSlam. So, Battleground as normal, and SummerSlam as normal. Now, obviously, the draft happens before Battleground, so... Uh, the rumor is that it'll be two a month only for eight months. So, the big four will be double pay-per-views. Um, which is SummerSlam and uh, the Rumble and Survivor Series and Mania. Those are your big four. Um, and, but every, every, every month that is not a big four will have two, and then the big four will have both rosters on that show, you know, you'd imagine both, both commentary teams, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of, uh, the plan here, but, you know, we still, there's, there's still a lot of information that we don't know, and I've heard that the talent doesn't even know where they're going to be, uh, yet. So that's kind of troubling to a certain degree, as I pin Mark Henry here, it's not going to work, but... I can at least try. Um, okay, so, we have an official date, or what I've heard is, is an official date for CM Punk's UFC debut, and that is September the 10th at UFC 203. Now, the original rumor was he, he was going to fight at 202, which takes place the night after SummerSlam. So it would have been funny, because that whole cross-promotional cross Brock Lesnar thing would have had them having to advertise for SummerSlam on the CM Punk debut UFC show. Not the case anymore. Now it is the one after that, September 10th, uh, and there's a bit of irony here, because the building where he will hope uh, he will supposedly be having his first fight is the building he walked out of when he left the company. Same arena, so that's kind of funny. Um, what else? Uh, they're saying that the talent that they're contacting, like the old talent, like guys who are, you know, in their 40s that they're getting a hold of to come back for this brand split. Uh, they're saying that they are looking at, like, two to three year full-time contracts. But apparently, Steve, uh, uh, Stevie, uh, Stevie Richards uh, is only being contacted for a uh, training position, not an actual in-ring wrestling position. So, uh, the beautiful idea of... The return of Right to Sense of coming back and saying, hey, we won, is apparently not going to happen, which is very, very sad. That, 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 that's, that's built in heat, and you're just wasting it. Um, what else? Uh, just announced this morning, like just announced this morning, as I sit and record this pretty early as usual, uh, is that Loot Crate, if, you're, if you are uh, familiar with Loot Crate, they have signed an official deal with the WWE to produce a bi-monthly WWE Officially branded Loot Crate. That is official. Now, there are other wrestling crates out there. There is literally Wrestle Crate. There is Pro Pro Pro, uh, Pro, Pro Wrestling Crate. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having a bit of a problem here this morning. Uh, and I want to say that there's a third one. I want to say there are three monthly ones. Uh, but I would imagine they're all a bit nervous right now because there's going to be an officially branded one from, uh, you know... WWE, so that's interesting, uh, but it is bi-monthly and not monthly, so perhaps the monthly crates will still do okay for people who want to have that 
But if you were going to invest in one, if there were a bunch of options, you were going to invest in one, obviously you invest in the one from WWE. The chance to get exclusive WWE merchandise that you can't get anywhere else, that certainly will be the allure there, whereas, you know, the, the crates that are already on the market, perhaps not so much. Um, so... I'll be curious to see what kind of business they do on that, and that will be a separate subscription from the normal uh, Loot Crate stuff, which I don't get because most of what they carry is just, you know, tchotchkes and knickknacks and things I don't care about, so uh, I am just not interested. Not interested. Um, now, would I be interested in this? Eh, not for money, but, you know, I've got more important things to spend money on, aka video games. Um... That's kind of where most of, my, most of my budget goes for the month, is video games and bills. Um, but uh, for, for those of you who are interested in that kind of a crate thing, uh, you might want to take a look at that stuff. Uh, I'm not sure when, it, when that is starting up. Like, I, I, I didn't read the whole press release, but I would imagine, you know, if they're announcing it, it shouldn't be too long. Fruit, roll up! Pin him! Count it! Breath! Lazy! Nope. But he had to burn his finisher. He had to burn his finisher. Which means... We're doing the ham and egg roll up. Two. Three. There we go. We're done. And that wraps up our Thursday. Let us see if John Cena will grace us with his presence tomorrow. Uh, I would certainly appreciate that at this point. I just want to get into that Cena feud more than anything else right now. Let's take a sneak peek at SmackDown for tomorrow and see what the deal is as we are in week two of May heading towards something. Payback. Payback! Alright, let us see here uh, if John Cena has decided to... Nope! Come on, The Rock's showing up, Batista's showing up, Triple H is showing up, John Cena apparently is too good. To work SmackDown, even though he is the U.S. champion, and he should be on this show. So, that being said, that's gonna do it. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I will see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.